Welcome everybody to the Nuggets of Gold YouTube channel. This is our first episode on YouTube, and we're going to be talking about Jeff Wilson being re-signed today, talk about how he projects into the 49ers future. But before you do that, if you could drop a like, a subscription, that would be awesome. Um, hopefully we get some good support on this first video, but let's let's get into it. So Jeff Wilson Jr. was re-signed on Tuesday. In my opinion, this was a pretty obvious move for the 49ers. He, he really emerged at the end of last season, especially after Raheem Mostert went down. Um, and let's just look at his 2020 stats. In 12 games, he had 600 rushing yards, 7 rushing touchdowns, 4.8 yards per carry. Uh, he also had 13 catches for 133 yards and 3 touchdowns. So really a touchdown magnet right there. 10 touchdowns on not many touches. The only concerning thing with Jeff Wilson was he did have two fumbles and he didn't have a ton of touches. So that's not ideal. Also in his rookie year, 2018, he had three fumbles. So he's got to hang on to the ball, but definitely a promising end of last season. You look at the Arizona Cardinals game, dude came out there and balled. Um, and, and you've seen him. This picture behind us also is when he caught the touchdown against the Cardinals last year and had this sweet celebration. You can see him in the middle of it right there. But Aiden, what do you think about Jeff Wilson Jr.? I think it's a win-win for both him and and the 49ers. Um, he complements Mostert really, really well. Uh, he's he's the power back to Mostert's speed back. He's, he's the thunder to the lightning. Um, but I think it was really smart for him to lock in really a one-year deal. Uh, with the cap going back up next year, he's going to have an opportunity to potentially cash in both him and Mostert will be free agents after this year. Uh, but I was super excited to see the Niners get it done, uh, see if he can be someone who we really build this offense around. Um, when when you search Jeff Wilson Jr. on, on Google, the very first uh, search is Jeff Wilson Jr. runs like a five-year-old on Christmas morning. And I think that that sums it up better than any of us could. No, I think that I think that's spot on. He runs with a lot of just like, he runs very ferociously and you saw him at the end of last season. Really? He, he became the, the number one running back and it was pretty cool to see him. Tevin Coleman didn't really get any carries when he was back there. You know, he'd get a couple every game, but he was healthy at the end of the year and they didn't really utilize him at all. And it became pretty apparent that Jeff Wilson jr. Is going to come into this year as I would think the one B, but I'll be honest. I would not be surprised if he is the one a guy, I would not be it would make sense if he ends up emerging over um, Raheem Mostert as the starter. I could see that. Um, I like that you brought up the Thunder Lightning reference, the old uh, USC running backs right there. But I like it because Wilson Jr. is a guy that they used him on the goal line a lot in 20, I think it was 2019. Yeah, they used him on the goal line quite a bit. And he's he gets a lot of touchdowns. Like I said, 10 touchdowns on limited touches last year. And he has kind of worked his way into being a running back that Kyle Shanahan likes and wants to use. We've seen many guys get broken off after this. So he's in a perfect spot. It's funny. He was a restricted free agent, so they don't even have his, the numbers of his deal yet, which is really odd because almost every contract, okay, this is exactly what it is. He got brought back really cheap. I like that you brought up how he could get broken off next year though, because him, Mostert and Jamichael Hasty, who I think will be either the third or fourth running back on that roster. I think those are the three guys that I think all those three guys will be on this team next year. Um, I think I think that's a solid backfield right now. And a lot of guys, you know, people know Raheem Mostert from the Packers game from the playoff run. That's about it. They know he's really fast. People don't know Jeff Wilson. People don't know Jamichael Hasty, and it doesn't really matter. I think that. In this offense, we've seen all the Stafford rumors. If they upgrade a quarterback, if they get a center, get a right guard, you can see this offense really complete, and it it's just plug and play at running back. And so Jeff Wilson has a chance to maybe – he. I wouldn't be surprised if he had 15 touchdowns next year. I would not be surprised at all. Do you think that's outlandish? Um, I think that might be a little much, um, but – we we saw him get to double digits this year in limited carries, like you said. Um, but just to harp on the plug and play point that that you made, this this Shanahan zone running scheme 
has a, a bit of a tradition of plugging in un, undrafted running backs and letting them run run wild, as we saw with Terrell Davis. And I think the Broncos, when Mike Shanahan was there, had like three or four guys in a row who were late round picks who ran for like 1500 yards or something crazy. Um, I think that this diver, th this backfield is a little more diverse. We have some more guys. So I don't think one guy is going to rush for 1500 yards. Um, and the NFL has moved away from that. No one's getting enough carries unless you're Derrick Henry or something like that. Um, but I think that, that, like you said, the three guys that the Niners have each do different things. Um, and I'm super excited about what the backfield is going to look like in 2021 and maybe in 2022, like, like you said, all, all, all those guys have their contracts up. Um, and it'll be very interesting to see what the 49ers choose to do. Um, even in this draft, I, I could see them pick somebody late, um, who they really, really like and have that guy in in the wings uh waiting to see um who's who's going to come back after this hopefully fingers crossed super bowl run in 2021 yeah i hope i hope so as well also you you bring up the draft it doesn't even necessarily matter if they pick a guy because all the undrafted guys like a jeff wilson jr like a raheem Mostert, like a jamichael hasty all of those guys are undrafted which is so so strange um, that you can just have a position that you feel comfortable about with three undrafted players. That's what makes the NFL king right there, is that you just have guys just emerging all the time, especially at running back. I like that you brought up how there's not really a guy that, like, besides Derrick Henry and a few other guys, where they're really the number one running back. Um, but what about Wilson's role going into next season? I think, I think as far as in the running game, it's pretty clear they want him as more of the power back and that's not to knock him and say he's not fast or anything, but he is a bigger build than Raheem. They want Raheem a lot more for those pitches, those outside carries, you know, the third and eight draw where he just has like, okay, one cut and he's gone where they're going to use Wilson a lot more on, you know, third and one, third and two. Um, and they use him in the passing game a lot too. So I think that he'll, and he'll be the goal line guy. I'm, I'm assuming um, that's why I said 15 touchdowns. I wouldn't be surprised by it. That's not like my prediction that he's going to get 15, but if he had 10 this year and he's going to be getting more carries, more goal line opportunity, I do think it's possible, especially if the offense gets a lot better. Cause last year they were 22nd ranked offense. I want to say, or maybe it's 20, but he's going to be that goal line guy. He's going to be that short yardage guy. He'll also get a lot of other, other carries and stuff, but what about in the passing game? Do you think that they're going to use him a lot or do you think that they might bring someone else in to be that kind of third down guy? Because Derek McKinnon, even though he was not used in the run game almost at all, he was exclusively used as a third down pass catcher. And Jeff Wilson had a couple, he had three uh, receiving touchdowns. Only but do you think that he expands that role in? Um, I could I could definitely see it during his rookie year. The first time we we really all saw Jeff Wilson was was when he runs that angle route against the Cardinals to win the game. Um, and Kyle came out after that and said Jeff ran that the best of all the running backs. Um, so we can see that he has some route route running like I guess ability. Um, and I could see um, his role expanding that way. Um, but like a guy like hasty could step up. He's a really good athlete. Um, he's probably a little quicker than Jeff is. Jeff to me is going to take over that Tevin Coleman role. Um, where like I could see him starting seven or eight games next year, uh, the same way Coleman did in 2019 where most are, I mean, most gets hurt relatively often. Um, and I, even if they're both healthy, like in the Panthers game in 2019, Tevin Coleman went off and I could see Jeff Wilson having a couple of games like that, where he's the one who starts the game. He's the one who gets the carries in the red zone because in, in the NFL now you, you look at the teams who are having real success, the chiefs, the bucks, the Packers, they all do running back by, by committee. Um, the, the, the bucks have Ronald Jones and Fournette. Um, the chiefs have a whole bunch of different guys. Packers are really about to let Aaron Jones walk. I think um, so too. And use Jamal Williams. And they just picked up a new running back, the guy from Boston College, A.J. Dillon. Um, 
So I think, especially now, you you want to have these guys fresh for the playoffs and having kind of a three-headed monster where the three guys each do each do different things is what the Niners wanted in 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 2019 with the Moster, with the Tevin Coleman, with the Jarek McKinnon. We thought he was going to be healthy in 2019, um, and that didn't end up working out, and they ended up still making the Super Bowl. Um, but I think it's really important to keep the tread off those tires. And Jeff Wilson – has came out and said that he 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 finds this this dark place for him to run in, um, and Kittle loves that. I know Kittle asks him about it all the time during during the game. Um, but I think Jeff Wilson's going to be the fourth quarterback, um, fourth quarter back running back. Not, I was a little bit confused what you meant right there. <laughs> not the fourth quarter quarterback, as in throwing the ball, um, but. He's he's going to be a handle. Um, he's he's going to be tough to handle, especially in the fourth quarters at the end of games um, after teams are gassed from trying to catch Raheem. I think especially, Jeff in. especially with that downhill running style, absolutely, and the physicality that he brings. But yeah, I think I think that's going to do it for today's video. Just a real quick, I guess, analysis on Jeff Wilson and how. He looks moving forward, but I like him being back. I, I It was pretty obvious that he was going to be back, but I'm happy that they did that right away. Even if they bring in another back, even if they take a guy day two, I still think that Jeff Wilson has a big role in this offense, and I'm excited to, to see him continue this emergence and continue his career and success.